Hello everybody, I am Elham from Skin Chakra, the place to purchase excellent quality cosmetic raw material and to learn how to formulate like a cosmetic chemist. And today Svetlana is going to show you this beautiful cream cleanser. Look at the consistency, it is dreamlike. It is so nice and smooth and it is ridiculously easy to make. The key factor to reaching to this consistency is patience and temperature. It is freshly made almost two, three hours, but within 24 hours, it will become slightly harder and it will reach this consistency. This is the one that is about two hours now and this one is uh, overnight. It becomes slightly harder can see the difference. It is still creamy and here it is slightly harder. This formulation is preserved and you can feel it in a glass jar like this if you want and uh, you can safely use it over time. But the best and the safest way to uh, fill the uh, cleansing cream and to use it is in a squeeze tube that you can easily apply the cream uh, but you don't add uh, water to the cream uh, by uh, dipping your uh, finger in the uh, jar. It easily flows from the tube as you can see and it easily forms when you add water to it and it is Rinse the way with a very nice creamy after feel. So join Svetlana and me and see how Svetlana is going to make this formulation. As always, the complete formulation and ingredients list are on our blog. Blend the cetyl alcohol, mango butter, and miracle fruit wax in a heatproof beaker and set it aside. This is the fat phase that you are going to heat. Blend your water phase that consists of SCI noodles or if you have the powder, you can use the powder. Capril, capril glycoside and glycerin. Then you can add water to this phase and start heating the water and the solid fat phase. The SCI doesn't dissolve in water, it swells and makes a paste. You can heat both water and oil phase in the same bath. The temperature must be at least 80 degrees, rather up to 90 degrees. The surfactants and wax phase are completely melted now and uh, we are going to blend them in a short while. Now we are blending our uh, phase C which consists of uh, sodium lactate, sodium PCA, both as humectant, uh, olive squalane, uh, desyl glucoside, tocopherol, 
our essential oil and the paprika oil for its beautiful color. This is a blend of lipophilic and hydrophilic ingredients. Don't uh, worry why we blend them together. The surfactant here uh, can act as a kind of emulsifier and blend both ingredients type together. So these are our oil and the surfactant phase. And now we are using a blender. This is the unfortunate blendia that we use to blend both phases together. Our surfactant and wax phase is completely homogeneous now. You see it's a kind of white paste. The temperature is around 70 degrees at the moment and we have to wait a little bit till we can add the other phase at the temperature below 50 degrees. We are going to let this cool down at room and we will blend the a mixture every now and then till it is completely cooled down and we can add the other phase. Our surfactant blend is almost cooled down to 50-55 degrees and we can add the other phase uh, and blend both phases together. This is our cleansing cream, which is still very warm and very low viscosity. We are now going to add the lactic acid for pH adjustment and the preservative. Our preservative is independent of pH and we aim for a pH between 4.9 to 5.2, but we have to wait for the blend to cool down till we can prepare our uh, pH sample. It is very hot for pH measurement at the moment. You see the consistency, how nice and smooth it is. And it now goes to the fridge and we'll be, be blending it every now and then to avoid crystallization. When the temperature reaches room temperature, we are going to prepare a 10% dilution and measure the pH. Our cleansing cream is now cool enough for pH measurement. It hasn't reached the final consistency yet, but it is safe to prepare a 10% dilution and uh, measure the pH. Our pH meter is calibrated, so we just need to rinse the electrode and immerse it in the sample. By experience, we knew how much lactic acid we need to add to the formulation. 
when you make this formulation for the first time, you need to guesstimate or be very cautious with adding the lactic acid. But the consistency lets you add the lactic acid on time to adjust the pH. The pH is 5.01, which is exactly in our range. And now all we have to do is to cool down our cream further to reach the desired consistency. Our cream cleanser is cooled down to the room temperature now. You can see the consistency, how nice and smooth it is and it flows easily. It will become harder overnight. If you want to feel it in the tubes, it's the perfect time to do it now before it becomes harder and the viscosity is uh, even higher. The final consistency is like this one after 24 hours. You can feel it in jars or fill it in a squeezed tube.